Oh, you guys, look at how cute Maggie is. I love seeing how she's relaxing in the grass next to her adorable little doghouse and all of the pretty trees we have planted. Oh, I am so happy with the improvements we have made to our little community garden greenhouse, which honestly, we need to do a lot of work if we're going to transform this place into basically like the bun house greenhouse in this little suburban neighborhood so we can convince people to reduce, reuse, recycle, uh, plant lots of plants. And also maybe like, can I put a sign up? <gasps> can I buy a sign? If I can buy a sign, I want to be able to go ahead Okay, standing directional signs. No, 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 I want like a sign. Like a sign that I can go ahead and, and write on. Wouldn't that be so cool if you could have like customizational, like customizable signs that you could hang up? Because I would completely put in like a no mow may sign to encourage people not to mow too much of their yards. Uh, but that being said, it is nice that Maggie has a nice clean place that she can go ahead and roll around in. Not that short grass is cleaner than long grass, but you guys know what I mean. And and I am encouraged to go ahead and plant a whole bunch more plants shortly after we carry on with our new adventures with the pets here in House Flipper, the pets expansion. Oh my gosh, Maggie, you are so freaking cute. She's adorable. Just look at her, you guys. Just look at her. Oh, I think we might let her go ahead and sleep in the yard and be watched over by like a very kind neighbor. I'm trying to remember, maybe Mabel? Maybe Mabel, who lives across the street, and, you know, she actually spent her years studying manatees in Florida, which I would love to go see, by the way. Oh, Maggie! Do you want to stay with Mabel? I think Maggie might stay with Mabel this time around, guys, so that we can carry on with more of the different jobs that we can actually take on, and we can take a little peek at Morgan's pet care! Oh, my goodness! We should get another animal, and we should totally have, like, a cat or a dog or some bunnies. I would need to make a special area for the bunnies. There's also little guinea pigs. Oh, I love guinea pigs so much. But if I'm going to like host all of these animals, I need to make sure that we have the right kind of environments for them. And if I'm going to learn about the right kind of environments for all of these adorable cats and dogs who are apparently ready to rescue, then we need to go ahead and pop over to the map of jobs and see who needs our help next. Is it this person? The animal caretaker. Running a business and being an accountant has been Morgan's whole life, until he handed the company over to his son and retired. To keep himself busy, he occasionally worked as a freelance consultant for his old friends. Once he was asked to prepare a report on stray pets in Cozy Village. The numbers were frightening. Morgan felt he had to act. He is determined and knows what to do. All right, Morgan. I'm here. I'm ready. This feels like a blend of like everything that we do as pixel biologists because we've also got like old friends dog games vibes going on. We are here to help out, to understand the natural world, to stop mowing lawns who are wandering about. Well there is this saying about changing the world. I'm sure you know it. I've already started with myself. Now it's time for my home. Structure and order. They are crucial for my plans. Oh dear. This is how I see it. Cats and dogs will have their rooms downstairs. The other pets in the attic. Yes, I know. It's such a nice room, but it's worth it. It's nothing compared to what they went through. What so many stray pets experience every day. I know, I can't save them all, but a few is more than none, right? Oh boy! All right, Morgan! Oh, the caretaker! How fun! I just hope that he doesn't get himself too overwhelmed with animals. Also, is there some way- oh my gosh. All right, Morgan, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna help out by picking up the trash and getting rid of the trash. So let's see, remove trash, and apparently we need to bury some things. So there we go. Uh, let's see, and we need a bin cage. Oh, buy object, not bury. Ha, huh, silly. You're being so silly. Let's see, Loesta bin cage. So let's actually see. I love how my first inclination as soon as we got here was like, oh boy, we've got to hurry. <laughs> we've got to step in and we have got to like make this place clean. So here's the bin cage. Apparently that just like destroyed a ton of our budget, but that was like the thing that we needed to do. Oh, I'm so worried about this. Where'd all my money go? Can't I donate to Morgan? 
Is he gonna sell like all of his stuff? You guys? This bin is wiggling! This is a wiggling bin! Also known as a trash can, if you like live where I do. Oh my word, okay. Uh, hello? <gasps> it's a raccoon! Oh my gosh, there is a raccoon running around. Is it on me? Is it, where did it go? Oh my word. Where did this raccoon go? I cannot believe that. That was so cute. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to move these bins out of the way. There's apparently, wait, is the raccoon in, is the raccoon just jumping bins? <laughs> that would be so freaking hilarious and kind of cute if the raccoon was just like wiggling around and moving about from bin to bin. Like every time, it's kind of like whack-a-mole, except it's like catch a trash panda trying to rush over and get them out of the bins. Chips and I have never had problems with raccoons getting into our trash cans, but oh my goodness, were they ever bird seed feeder thieves when we lived in? Oh my gosh, there we go. Okay, I definitely probably put it in the wrong place. I should have moved the bins first. I'm very sorry, Morgan. But at least we have the, the that's what it's for. <gasps> At least we have this spot for the bins to go. So, it's so weird to call them bins. Uh, so that that way the raccoon won't cause too much more trouble. Which is not, like it, the food that a raccoon could eat out of a trash can is really, really terrible for them. They're omnivores. They eat basically anything they can get their paws on. <laughs> Ergo, why you find them in your trash can so often. Um, Uh-oh. You guys, uh, I think we might need to talk to Morgan because we don't have the, we don't have the bin cage where it needs to go and I don't think I can move it. Morgan, Morgan help. And I don't have enough money to buy another bin cage. Uh oh, um, uh, uh, Morgan. Uh oh, okay. We're in a little bit of a pickle here. I think the only option is to sell this whole thing. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna, we're gonna keep going. I'm not gonna, there's no take backsies. We're going to own up on the fact that now we're 200 smackadoos shorter than we need to be on all of our funds because I didn't take time to move the bins properly. All right, these kinds of mistakes happen and they're the kinds of things that unfortunately, especially with really like low, low income nonprofits like this, they can set you back just one or two little mistakes a flat tire or something like that and the next thing you know you can't feed all of the, the cats and dogs all right so let's put these away and this time i am not going to let my inexperience and trying to rush through things distract me from helping morgan fix this place up all right there we go yeah there that actually is a little bit of progress. All right, let's see what else Morgan has going on here. He's got these cute little houses. Look at all of them. I can't wait to see all the animals that might start showing up. And now, so what do we need to do in the tiny, the dining room? Oh, look, he's got all the food. I'm gonna just go ahead and open up the doors so it's nice and bright and sunny in here. The kitchen is very charming. He's growing a bunch of his own herbs, which I think is lovely. I'm gonna open all these windows. Just get some fresh air in here. This is what Chips and I do every time we go to like our friends' houses, like open their windows. All right, let's see. Open the blinds so we can see. So it is time to sell a ton of things. I think Morgan, oh, what's this room? What's the garage? Cool. I haven't had a garage in so many years. I, I forgot they existed for just a second. That's what apartment living will do to you. All right, so let's sell all these. I'm assuming it's all gonna go. Uh, don't know about the painting. Oh yeah, painting forest road. Were there two beds in here? I wonder why. All right, so, and then the picture of the birch. There we go, okay. So now we need the floor tiles, light rotated panels. All right, let's see if we can find those. Hmm, light rotated, aha. So these are the panels we need to get 
Oh dear. How do I... Oh, there we go. Yes, I was so worried this was going to be like miserable. It was going to take me forever. <gasps> Look how cute. Oh my word. We need to put this in our greenhouse. This is so lovely. Our greenhouse that's not a greenhouse yet, but it will be. All right. Okay, so wow, we're going to even like sell everything in the bathroom too. Wow, okay. I should have brought Maggie. She would have like loved this place. Oh dear, there's a lot of dog houses. Let's see, Ramel dog bed. There we go. Oh wow. Oh, it's so colorful. Okay, let's find a really fun, like bright color. Come on, no boring colors. That's my big rule. That cherry is not very boring, but it's kind of bright. There's a difference between no boring colors and like, ah, my eyes. Oh, the oranges and yellows are pretty cute. Oh, and the greens, of course. <laughs> I am absolutely going to be putting down these greens. Are you kidding me? All right, so then we need the Mornista dog bed. Let's see, with legs, oh, that would be cute. All right, so let's do a mattress that's maybe canary and a base. We'll go with, oh, fine, if I must, I'll go with some whites. Dark brown, yellow, let's go with the yellow. Oh, see, that's fine. I wonder, I wish I could see like what dogs are gonna go in here. Like, are we going to have like big Great Danes? I miss Maggie, we're gonna bring Maggie in. Let's see. Next up we have, oh, some chew toys. Okay, so hunt chicken chew toys. Let's see, chew toy. Oh my gosh. All right, so we've got a chew toy. We'll go ahead and put it right in front of the dog bed there. And then we've got, oh, the tennis ball. Okay, I love this. Let's just go straight to pets. We're gonna go to dogs. We're gonna go to toys. Little doggy tennis ball. We're gonna put that one down over here. And then we need, oh, a cat tree. Wow. We're really like assuming that the dogs and cats are gonna get along very well over here. Also, it makes me miss my old friend's dog game. <laughs> All right, so let's see, Latan. Latan. Uh, light or dark under mat? Let's find out. Bon appetit. All right, no boring colors. Add a little bit of that vibrancy into life. There's that. But at the same time, ha, okay, that's cute. All right, so we want the one with a light, light under bowl mat. That's what I just put down, right? Oh wait, did we need like two of them? Let's see, light under bowl mat. That's, that's literally that, right? No, it's the dark one. Oh. <laughs> Is there an easier way? There has to be like an easier way. Let's see, to like, can, can you just select the things that you currently have? Um, tasks. Oh my word, you can. I'm so embarrassed right now. Y'all have probably been like, basically just staring at me and being like, Siri, 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 what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, that made my life immensely easier right away. <laughs> All right, we'll be doing that from now on. If, if you could see how hard I'm blushing, it would definitely, be quite silly but you know what we can still continue to work on all the things that we need to do so let's get more you, you could just move ahead don't dwell on your silliness friends not too long all right this one's gonna be full of leaves this one's gonna be full of leaves I'm gonna put it right there and then what else do we need so automatic feeder let's see let's make them light blue and we'll go ahead and put automatic feeder right here. And then let's make another one, different color. Come on, maybe the, the animals wanna know like, oh, this is my spot, this is your spot. And then we'll do another different color for the water. Oh, this is so much easier. <laughs> I can't believe it's taken me so long, but you know what? At least the lessons that make you blush and the lessons that kind of make you go, oh, are gonna be ones that you won't forget. And it's not that big a deal. Now we're having fun. We're gonna put all the chew toys down. 
for the puppers, hopefully to have a great time. And now we're breaking into the cat trees. And I don't know about you guys, It's it's been years since I've had a cat in my house and in my family. Chips and I, uh, Chips is unfortunately tremendously allergic to cats, but he also loves cats the most out of like everything in the world. Uh, other than turtles, he also loves turtles. So we're trying to figure out what to do about that conundrum. All right. Isn't this room so much more fun already? Just like, forget beds for people. Let's go all out for the animals. I want to add a little mouse area. Oh my goodness. I just had this idea. Okay, we're going to have a cute little spot where we've got these mouse toys. I have to be careful because we do not have a lot of money. But I want to add at least a couple more mouse toys. And then we're going to come over and we're going to sneak into the store. And I'm going to find something that the little mice can kind of be like hiding behind because I think that's adorable. Let's see, not the wood panels. Oh, little hats! <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see, posters, not really what I'm going for. I'm looking for like a basket. Do, is there like a basket of like fruit or something that we could put in here? Um, or maybe, hmm. See, the, the, the bottom line is I'm probably going to be adding tons of plants that the animals can't really eat in all over the place anyway. There's a fern. That's kind of what I wanted. Where's just like a good fruit bowl? People need to eat fruit. That's their vitamin C. Ah, well. All right, let's see. So I'm going to come in and let's do cute little flowers in a watering can over here with our cute little mice. And then let's see if I can put a little basket back here. All right, what do we have? There's big baskets, and then this is more what I was thinking of. Like a cute little wicker basket back here. Okay, that's adorable. I love that. And I love the idea that the mice just have their own little mouse corner. But yes, so often my beloved husband Chips and I get asked like, oh Siri, how many pets do you have? Like, uh, do you have any cats? Are you gonna adopt any dogs? And at the moment we are not looking into pets because we are still not clear about where we're gonna be living in the next few years. Uh, if we're even gonna be in the country in the next few years, like there's a lot of factors that are currently at play. And then we'll put the litter box over here. There we go, kitties. Oh, we need two litter boxes, okay. Well, let's go, we'll make both of them the same color, I think. So two cats and two dogs are planning on being in this room. Hmm, that's already a lot of animals, if you ask me. And then we'll make sure that there's a little pee pad somewhere, maybe by the garage. I really hope they, the, it doesn't have to use it, but just in case. Oh, a little dog pattern carpet. Okay, that's really cute. We'll tuck that into this corner. Oh, and the stool so you can come and you can hang out with the animals. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Okay, let's see. But yeah, my beloved husband, Chips and I, do not have any cats nor dogs at the moment. We wish we could. Uh, probably guinea pigs or turtles seem to be like the thing that would be up our alley the most, ironically. Here, we're going to put these water feeders for the cats kind of in the cat corner with all the mice. There we go. Cute, and then we'll hide the, <laughs> the little automatic cat food <laughs> can come over here with the mice. We just have a little conversation with the mice. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. All right, and then we need an interior dog enclosure. Are you kidding? How am I gonna make this, this work? Well, we're gonna have a gate at some point, I think. So, I guess we do one two three oh no four five six seven eight nine ten okay we're gonna need to like enclose this area right oh this is really cute okay and then now we need a little gate it doesn't look like you can change the color of those things <gasps> oh That's so cute. I should have put the gate the opposite direction, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, and now we need another gate. Uh, all right, I got it, I got it. And then can I rotate the gate so I can control what direction it goes? Yay, that's much better. 
here. Oh, you guys, what a cute little room. I love it. Oh my gosh, I love all the little the little mouse corner. Why is this so much fun? This is just so freaking delightful. And now we get to step in here and we basically get to sell everything because we heckin' just do not have. There we go. We're gonna get rid of the toilet, toilet plumbing system, that plumbing system, this plumbing system, and then cross our fingers that we'll be able to make this room work because there's, can I sell the blinds? Oh, I don't want to earn money this way. Are you kidding me? Who needs blinds? Open these windows. You might let a bird in. That would definitely make everybody's life a little bit more interesting. <laughs> but all right, guys. So, yes, uh, to wrap up what I was saying before we go ahead and move on and continue to transform this area and help out Morgan with trying to make, let's see, is that ceramic tiles gray as well? Arrange the ceiling tiles, lay floor for... Oh, I've really got to stop spending all this money that poor Morgan is giving me and putting it in the wrong places. Yes. There we go. <laughs> oh, no boring colors. How dare they force me to have some boring colors. I'm going to fix this situation. Absolutely going to make this a little bit more chaotic and plant filled as much as Siri can because that's that's what I like out of life. <clears throat> but yeah, we don't have any cats or dogs right now, but we've both grown up with them uh, and love them. But what about you guys? Like, I never, 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 never would have thought in my entire life growing up that I would ever have a phase of life where I didn't live with a ton of pets. And yet here I am, and I've actually entered a phase of my life where I'm super grateful that I don't have any pets because Chips and I do plan on traveling maybe even sometimes for months at a time. And when you do that, I want to be really respectful and loving of any animals that we might have in our life that you can't just disappear on them like that. Even if we put them in like a doggy daycare, they they would miss you, you know what I mean? Well, cause we're talking about for like, you know, going to Japan for like three months or something like that. Um, so it's interesting. Cause I used to think like, what kind of person would I be if I don't have like the pets with me all the time? Like it would be this huge, hole that couldn't be filled by anything ever in my life. How dare I even think about it? And yet now that I am in this phase of my life, I realize that so many people have pets that I can go see, even when I don't have my own. And I realize that I'm actually super grateful for the freedom because I know I'm making the best choice for any future pets we have to wait until it's the right time to hang out with them. Uh, and that's really fulfilling for me. Ooh, we can go ahead and move this shampoo over here. And then it also has helped me realize that my love of animals is not limited just to the kind of pets that I share my daily life with. It is also spread through a, a love of like all of the natural world. So it's actually been really satisfying to go ahead and embrace and enjoy like, oh, I'm, I'm kind of missing being around animals right now. I miss having a cat sit on my lap. And so instead, what I have been doing, let's see, can I, we're just gonna stack these right there too, is when I get those kinds of feelings is I celebrate other people's animals. I'll go on my sister's Instagram and like leave a ton of likes and, and ask her how her cats are doing. Or I will go ahead and go outside and I will transfer that, that desire and that love I feel into appreciating the squirrels that are around us. And I know that sounds really, odd but it was just so fulfilling for me to realize like oh the reason that i love animals isn't just because they like share the the life and the world that we live in but or like my home but it, it is covered for everything it's not just for my cats it's not just for my dogs not just for my geckos it's for everything oh look at this and now we've already done this oh my gosh wait did we finish the whole house oh thank goodness <laughs> No, I don't think we finished the whole job. Oh, we've just done the progress. And now I'm gonna open all these doors. Sir, you better be careful about this room. I can just see kitty cats prancing all over that piano. 
Aha! All right, we've got one room left next time, my friends, to go ahead and be able to help our good friend Morgan out. And then once he is clear that we are able to really help out when it comes to all of these animals, who on earth has windows that don't open? That is just absolutely nutter butters to me. But once he's clear that we're able to help everybody out with the animals, maybe he'll recommend us to some of the people in Cozy Town or Cozy Village, whatever this adorable place is called. I've got to fix that. Oh, look how cute this is! And we can carry on with the adventures next time. But yeah, guys, so, like, if you do come to a phase in life where you're like me and you're like, oh, I feel so sad I don't have a pet right now, just kind of hold that feeling for a second and look around yourself and ask, okay, is getting a pet really the right move for me right now? Like, number one, you should always ask that. And you might have the answer be like, if I'm being honest and if I'm being true to the pet, no, because my future is a little uncertain. I don't know where I'm going to be. So don't get sad because for a long time, that would make me so depressed. I'd be like, I can't have a puppy. I can't have a cat right now. And I would just be devastated. And now instead of getting sad about it, I think about it and I think, oh, you know what? I think the love I feel and the desire I feel to pet a cat right now or to snuggle with a puppy who knows my name and loves me back can be spread out into the wider world, into more places. And that's just been really wonderful for me. So maybe that's a, a fun little thought I can leave you guys with. But all right, tidied up my brain, tidied up my, my house, tidied up this place. And now we're going to go ahead and carry on with the adventures. So if you guys could do please leave a like for the chaos that can be <laughs> diving into someone's house and getting ready to sell everything. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.